Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel. I'm here for Queen & Co today, and I wanna show you their brand new June kit. It's called Pretty Presents, and it's a shaker kit that includes everything you need to make these little present shakers that are great for all types of celebrations, but especially birthdays. So here's everything that you can find inside the kit. First up, you get the six by six mat stack. These are double-sided six by six pattern papers that are great for lots of celebratory themes. You get three present dies, and then you get a bunch of toppings that are great for filling your shakers. These are candy sprinkles toppings. They come in this kit in yellow, pink, and blue, and they look just like little sprinkles. Then they have these little bows that I think also kind of look like adorable little butterflies. You get three of the largest size present, you get three of the square middle size, and three of the tiny size present, and these are the foam pieces that make the shakers. You also get an entire set of stamps, and those are great for sentiments. So I'm gonna pick out three different colors from the matte stack and I'm going to cut out all three presents from all three colors and decide what I want to use on my card and this I will then just tuck away the extras that I don't use for a future project for making more of these little present shakers so you can see that I am using a precision base plate for this and that's mainly for this last one here just because the little ribbons are so delicate I think it cuts best with a precision base plate. So I have three of my presents all set out and I have a sentiment from the stamp set that I am going to ink up with Versamark ink, but first I'm going to put some anti-static powder tool on my black cardstock. I really like the way the colors from Pretty Presents pop on the black background. So I'm gonna ink up my stamp with Versamark ink and stamp that. Then I'm gonna move those presents away and I'm going to cover it with white embossing powder. Make sure that the entire sentiment is really completely covered and tap off any extra grains that are sitting around there. And then I'm just going to heat set that. Now I'm gonna pop out the center of those foam squares. You can save those for different projects. You can use them as dimensional adhesive or you can cover them with glitter. And all three of them, I'm just gonna use that little frame there. There, that foam frame. I'm going to run some anti-static around the inside. That's going to make my shakers really move around and not stick to the edge. And now I'm going to put the coordinating color of topping inside the color of present that I've chosen. So I have yellow in the small one, I have blue in the square there, and I have pink in the largest size. Once my shakers are all filled, I'm going to remove the top little protective layer on the foam there and I'm going to place the acetate that you do get in the kit. They all come pre-cut and ready to go. And then I'm just going to adhere with some tape runner the pattern paper that I die cut with those dies right on top of the shaker. And isn't that so cute? You get the little cut out elements that you can see the shaker inside. And I think that's so much fun. So this card is pretty much done, but I decide that I want to take some of those bows. Like I said, to me, they kind of also look like little butterflies. So I'm going to sprinkle them all around the sentiment because I felt like the open areas of the card at the top just needed a little something extra. To adhere these I'm going to take some Ranger multimedia mat and I have a really fine precision tip there that I'm just going to put a tiny little drop on the cardstock and then just add my little bow on top. And once that's done, my card panel is pretty much completed. So I can add it to the front of a four and a quarter by five and a half side folding card there. And I like to do this with black cardstock onto white card bases so that you can write your sentiments or inscription on the inside. So, and you can see how all those little shaker sprinkles just move around so well and it just adds so much dimension to the card. So let's make one more shaker card with the same kit. I'm going to take some more pieces of the Pretty Presents matte stack and I'm going to ink up another sentiment. This time I'm using Versamark 
black onyx ink and clear embossing powder. I'm gonna heat set that. And I also have two rectangles of varying sizes of the Pretty Presents matte stack that I'm going to layer on top of each other. And then I'm gonna layer that little sentiment right on top of the green there. And then all I need is to add my shaker element. So I have that square present. I'm gonna pop out the center of the foam, remove the backing, and adhere it to my card panel. Then I'm going to take some of the anti-static, run it around the inside of that little frame there, and make sure that my sprinkles move around really well. Then I'm going to fill up the little inside of the shaker element there with as many toppings as I like. I'm gonna use a couple of different colors in this one. I really like the way that looks too. Sometimes it's fun to go all one color. Sometimes it's fun to mix and match a little bit. So I have the bows and then I have the yellow candy sprinkles too. Once you have the shaker filled up the way that you like, you pull off the top protective layer on the adhesive foam and then you add the little acetate sheet that's all cut perfectly sized for your presents. So at that point then I add some tape runner to the back of the die cut pattern paper that matches with this little foam square and lay it right on top. And you can see that that little fun shaker element adds tons of dimension and just a lot of whimsy and fun to the front of your card. I'm going to do the same thing with those little bows, a trail of them across the sentiment panel there, and I'm going to adhere them with the Ranger Multimedia Matte once again. So I'm just going to use my ultra fine tip there, put some dots of adhesive down, and lay the little bows right on top. So I'll use that same tape runner to adhere the card panel down to the card base. It's four and a quarter by five and a half, a top folding note card. And that's my second shaker card made with the June kit. So I hope you'll check out the Queen & Co June kit, which is called Pretty Presents. I'll link it down below for you. Thank you so much for stopping by today.